there's more celebration of the city than ever before now. I think there's more understanding of their magic and not just their mundane necessity. There is a, a misconception of the River Thames itself and people don't realise that it's three times as wide as the River Seine in Paris. It's been treated as an obstacle. But as London has intensified and that landscape of that city, the best possible place to look at it from is actually in the middle of the river. The bridges have been seen as links, not actually as a place. And so what felt powerful to me about this notion was the idea of making a place. We're passionate about making this something that you don't pay to use and never will. The project's been about trying to create a new charitable trust and shuffle all the British people and lovers of London and from all over the world to help it to happen and to give ourselves a form of garden that actually doesn't exist in London anywhere. It's very emphatically, it's not a park, it's a garden. It might sound a cliche, but it will be, I think, a very magical place. And we're juggling the most robust management needs together with doing everything we can to preserve the intimacy that a garden can give simultaneously with being at the epicentre of a world city. We reminisce about previous heritage and history and customs and traditions. We sometimes pay too much homage to those and don't remember that it's our duty to keep augmenting, building and growing those traditions and inventing new traditions and inventing new customs and trying to keep them and grow them as particular and special for the place in the city. I do believe a, a, a city is a evolving creation shared by us all. Mm -hmm.